Hello everyone, it's great to have you back on SFDC Ninja and today we are going to implement task handling for escalated cases using Apex triggers. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Before we dive into VS Code and start coding, let's cover some important points for today's scenario so that you will be able to understand today's scenario more clearly and in a better way. First, let's start with data model. So in today's scenario, we are going to play with three objects. First is account, which is the parent object. Second is case, which is the child object and third is contact which is also a child object. On case object we have a checkbox field escalation required which indicates that whether escalation is required on a case or not. Also on contact object there is another checkbox field primary contact which indicates that a contact is primary or not. Now let's understand the scenario on which we are going to work today. So in today's scenario we need to create a follow-up task on primary contact of an account whenever escalation required checkbox of case record on that particular account gets checked. And just like every video, I'm going to explain the requirement in an easy way by using a flowchart. Let's say we have an account record. And on this account, we have a case record case 1 whose escalation required checkbox is not checked. And we also have a contact check whose primary contact checkbox is checked, which means Jack is the primary contact of this account. Now let's say user update this case 1 record by checking the escalation required checkbox. Now whenever this checkbox gets checked, then we need to create a follow-up task on Jack, which is the primary contact of parent account of this case record. So this is what we are going to do today. I hope that the requirement is now clear to you. It's time to code. So let's switch to VS Code and create our handler class. Let's name it trigger handler. Let's create our method public static void trg method. Now guys see. We need to create a task record whenever checkbox field on case object gets updated. So a trigger will be invoked by the change happening on case object. Therefore, we will pass list of case record as parameter in our method. So let's pass list of case record as parameter like this. And in this list, we will pass trigger.new from our trigger. Therefore, this list is equal to trigger.new which contains new version of case records. Now as a best practice of Apex, apply null check on this list. Copy its name, note, paste it here, is empty, and iterate over it. For case, let's say new case, again paste it. Now, guys, we need that a trigger should get invoked only when escalation required checkbox of a case record gets checked. So, let's apply a check like this if new case dot escalation required is true I mean checked and we also need that this case record must have a parent account so let's apply one more check here like this account ID is not null we can also apply another check that before updating case record escalation required checkbox was not checked but for that we need old values of record and in apex triggers we can have old version of records by using trigger.oldmap. So let's pass another parameter in our method like this case old case map. And in this map, we will pass trigger.oldmap from our trigger. So this map is equal to trigger.oldmap. Now here, create a variable for case, case, old case. And in this variable, we will store old version of case record using this map. So copy its name, paste it here, dot get, new case dot id. Guys see, in this map, id of case is the key and case record is the value. And here, we are using get method to fetch old version of case record by passing id of case which is being updated. So this variable contains the old version of case record. Now inside this if condition, apply another check like this, old case dot escalation required was false i mean unchecked and if this condition will get true then what we will do we will add parent account id of this case in a set so for that let's create a set first set id acc ids new set id copy this set name paste it here and add parent account id in this set new case dot account id now guys we want that our further code will be executed only if this set contains a value 
and this set will have the value only when on an account record escalation required checkbox of a case gets checked. So let's apply a null check on this set, copy its name, if paste it here is not empty. And now in next step, what we will do, we will fetch primary contact of account whose ID is present in this set. So let's see how we can fetch it. Let's create a list. Contact. On list. Select ID. Account ID. Primary contact. From contact. Where account ID in our set. And we need only one latest updated primary contact. So for that, let's use and here. Primary contact is true. And for latest updated contact, let's use order by close. Last modified date. Limit one because we only need one contact. Now to avoid nested for loop, we will store contact data which is present in this list in a map. So for that, let's create a map here. ID comma contact, let's say cone map, ID comma contact, copy this map name, first iterate over this list, paste the map name here and put data in it, cone dot account ID in key and contact in value. So we have the primary contact on which we need to create a task record. Now again iterate over this list. For case, let's say case RCD, list name. Now our next and final step is to create a task record on primary contact of account. And we already have that primary contact data in this map. So let's first apply a null check on this map like this. If not, copy this map name, paste it here. Is not empty and apply another check that if parent account ID of this case is present in key of this map. This is to check that parent account of this case and this contact is same. So let's apply check like this. Cone map dot contains key is rcg dot account id. And if this condition will get true, then first we will create a contact variable like this. Contact, let's say primary cone and we will store contact data in this variable using this map. Cone map dot get case rcd dot account id and finally create a task record task let's say tsk new task tsk dot subject let's say follow up task we want to create this task record on this contact that's why we need to provide this contact id in who id like this ID primary cone ID status will be not started priority will be high let's give a description also this task is related to case and now to bulkify our code, we will not insert task directly here. For that, let's first create a list of tasks like this. Task to insert. New list. Task. Copy this list name and add records in this list. TSK. And for error handling, we are going to use try and catch block. So let's first use try here and inside it apply DML on this list, copy this list name, insert it and to catch exception, let's use catch block like this. Exception ex system.debug error while inserting case records. 
ex.get message. Basically, in Apex, get message method is used to retrieve the error message associated with a specific exception. Save this class and deploy it to org. Okay, we are getting error. Line number 17. Oh, I forgot to use add here. Save it and deploy it to org again. So we have our handler class ready. Let's create our trigger now. Let's say case trg. Now it is obvious that change is happening on case object. Therefore, a trigger will be on case object with after update event. Why after update? Because we need to create a task record after the case record gets saved to database. So let's write case here and with after update event. And now let's apply a check to call our handler class method only on after update operation like this. If trigger dot is after and trigger dot is update. And here call our handler class method. Trigger handler dot trg method. Trigger dot new in first parameter and trigger dot old map in second. Save it and deploy it to org. Okay, it is successfully deployed. So we have our code ready. It's time to test our code. So let's go to org and see our code in action. So in our org, we have this account record and this account has two contacts. This one is primary contact and this one is normal contact. And we also have a case record on it whose escalation required checkbox is not checked. So let's open this case and this primary contact also. Click on edit. And now according to the requirement, if we check the escalation required checkbox of this case, then a task record will be created on this contact. So let's check the checkbox, click on save, go to this contact, refresh it. So guys, as you can see that a task record has been created on this contact. Let's check the details also. Subject is same, status is same variety and description also which means our trigger is working fine so that's it for today guys and i'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios thank you and keep watching